In just three months, I learned five very cool parkour tricks that you can also learn at home. These moves are the kip up, the front handspring, the front flip, the back handspring, and the back flip. Now before we begin, if you wish to get motivated and are passionate about self-improvement, then subscribe. A very cool and easy skill to learn first was the kip up. The first step was to kip up into a bridge. I got this after a few tries. Now the next step was a bit more difficult. It was to explode up, bring your chest up, and do the kip up. I got it, but I wasn't happy because I landed in a deep squat. But after two days of training, I was able to get it pretty high. Now here are some tips that'll help you get a very high kip up. First of all, have your knees track over your feet when you're doing it. Secondly, be sure to maintain the bridge position when kipping up. Do not bend your legs like I do here. Another move that was very cool, but didn't require much skill, was the front handspring. The first step is to take a stack of pillows and fling yourself over them. Keep doing this over less and less pillows until one remains. After removing this pillow, you should be able to get a front handspring. But sadly, this is much harder than it sounds. I got it in about an hour, but I wasn't happy because I landed in a deep squat. But then I realized after watching a few tutorials that my back was supposed to be arching after blocking. And this tip changed everything. It took me about 30 minutes, but I was able to get it pretty high. After getting it pretty high, I was ready to move on to the front flip. I started out by doing somersaults. I kept removing my hands more and more until I had a really bad front flip. Researching a lot made me realize that I was leaning too far forward and I wasn't tucking enough. So by having these things in mind and practicing for a week, I got it. And in the recording of this video, I also got a standing front flip. I made a full video on that and you can check it out in the description. For the back handspring, the tutorials made it seem so easy and I thought that I could easily get it in a week. But I had no idea that I would actually get it in one and a half months. You start out by putting your hands behind you and pivoting around them. Then you work your way up and up until you can get a back handspring. This method just didn't work for me. No matter what I did, no matter how much I trained, I couldn't stop going to the side. I soon realized that the back handspring was just a mental game. And if I conquered that mental game, I could easily get it. And then after a long period of one and a half months of trial and error, I got it. For this move, the biggest tip I can give you is to never stop. Some people get it in five minutes, some people get it in three months. But as long as you put in the work, you will get it. Now it's time for the hardest move out of all of these moves, the backflip. So at first, I thought that the backflip was just a back handspring without hands. And that was completely wrong. Well, a back handspring is where you try to go back, a backflip is where you try to stay in the same place and go up as high as possible. For one month, I didn't know this, so I got nowhere. But after figuring out this information, I decided to throw myself into it. And this happened. It was horrible form, but I was so happy. Then, after three days of training, three hours each day, After this, I was ready to take it to ground. It took so many tries on ground, but after a while... Are you kidding me? If you want to see my standing front flip progression explained in less than 40 seconds, then click here. And if you want to subscribe to my channel for fitness videos and flipping videos, click here.